What's up everybody? Welcome to my Jazz Cam tutorial set. And this is actually the first the first of the first series that I'll be doing, you know, doing working with software. I do have other tutorials or breeze throughs that I've done in regards to music. So now I'm kind of stepping up to software, giving some of the tips and tricks that I use in what I'm doing for a lot of the production work I do. I'm a video producer, so I spend my pretty much spend my day just working on 3D design, motion artwork, graphic arts, and video production. Then when I get home, I work a little bit more on that too. And then I do music, of course, on the side. So it's just pretty much an all artistic day lifestyle that I have, which is pretty cool. So anyway, we'll be doing tutorials in 3D Max, After Effects, um, Reason, all kinds. It's, it's going to be a good time. You might be wondering, what's up with the dreadlocks? I just got done shampooing it so it's kind of wet right now and I just can't stand when it just sits on my shoulder and it just makes me just, you know, want to rip my shirt off and just get swole up in here. So I didn't want to do that. I want to maintain my coolness and get things going. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start firing things up and I'm sure things should be all good. Make sure you subscribe to my uh, YouTube.com slash Jazzio Black. Subscribe to it so you can see more of my tutorials and whatnot as I post them. Feel free to send me any questions. If I know the answer, I'll send it your way. If I don't, I'll just let you know because I'm fairly new to this. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you a little sample of this test explosion I've done here in 3D Max. Booyah! Just like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started when you fire up 3ds Max and please bear with me. Like I said, this is my first software tutorial that I'm doing on here so I might be a little bit confused and jump around a bit but I will try and make this as simple as easy and I can, as I can. So let's go over to the create tab and make a plane. Just drag anywhere on there and set your parameters to 600 by 600 and then what we're gonna do next is create our text so we'll just come up to this area and come to our front view and just go ahead and set it down we'll change this to Jassio now another thing let me tell you something if you go ahead and you use lowercase letters the problem that you have is if you try and set it down on the floor this area is gonna explode and go through the ground uh, it, and it, it lets you keep it where you can have it floating in the air but for this case I'm gonna go ahead and just make this all capital letters to make things easier so anyway let's go ahead and add an extrude in the modifier and this will give our text some depth now to activate the next the activate any of these windows you can right click on the area and what we'll do is I'm using my scroll mouse to zoom out of there so anyway when our perspective view we can see our depth you can also see the depth show on the left screen we'll go to our amount and we'll set it up now you can either go forward or backward depending on what makes you feel good this makes me real happy when I go forward I don't know why but it just does so now we have our text in place we have our ground you know what let's go ahead and make this ground a little bit bigger because once it explodes it's gonna be a big area that explodes 1000 by 1000 let's go ahead and set some materials up for these I hit M for the quick access to sorry about that I hit M for the quick access to materials if you go down here in your diffuse let's go ahead and choose any color here I'll choose red and we want to apply it red to the text so what we can do is we'll hit this box what this box does is it shows us the it shows us the effect once we add it to it we want to make sure we choose the text right now it's on plane two ways to select you can either go ahead and do that click and now you see I'm having a little problem there we see I've selected it but what I like to do is use the letter H and then I can actually select what I want so I hit H OK 
and we'll hit this. Now, if you notice, it has a ball and a square. The ball represents the material ball, and the square is the object. Let's hit that, and voila, our text has changed. Next, come in over here, and let's just make this white. Hit OK. And in this case, if you want to, you can always drag. Notice how in this area shows the plane what I've selected. We'll go ahead and just add a light. I right clicked again to get my window over here and I will make a simple omni light. This omni light will give us uh, give us some little bit realness shadows. I'll just place it right here and you can move it around to your preference to what you may like but in order for us to get our shadows right click on the perspective window and click on your render and this is what it looks like right here but we don't see any shadows in fact, I'm going to right click on my front window, select my Jazio object, bring it up, come back to your left window, select your light, and go in the modifier and put shadows on. Now, if you go and activate your perspective window and render it, you see we can see our shadows. And yes, it's kind of dark, but we're not going to get into making things soft. I want to make this as simple as I can. Also, what I want to do is just set my the number of frames to 30 make it real nice and short what I did is I come to this little window this little timing window click that and come up to your length this is the animation length and we'll just set this to 30 hit OK and now next what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our explosion 